Ah, Christmas, right? That time when we all get together with family and friends, exchange gifts, all that sort of stuff. And I've always said, when it comes to hero clicks, when opening a new brick, it kind of feels like Christmas. Remember me and Davey said that? So today, in honor of Christmas, we're opening a new brick of hero clicks. But there's been something I've neglected to do. This whole time I've been talking to you as if you knew HeroClix already. There are some of you who have never heard of HeroClix. You say, Brian, you talk about HeroClix all the time, but what is this HeroClix thing you speak of? Well, today I'm going to give you a quick overview of the basics of HeroClix, as well as show you some of the highlights from the Harley Quinn and the Gotham Girls set, including super rares, chases, all that sort of stuff, primes. Cool stuff in the set. Let's take a look right now at what's in here, then we'll look quickly at how to play. Right now. Merry Christmas. So what's in this set? So we get Harley Quinn and the Gotham Girls, therefore she's kind of headlining the set. Um, in it you have you know various stages of Harley Quinn over the years, including Red Lantern, all different stuff. Gotham Girls, all the different girls of Gotham City, such as you know Renee Montoya there, Poison Ivy, Catwoman in the classic costume. Uh, in the back, the chase set in this is the Dark Side War, Justice League, all the different new gods where they became different, uh, different deities. It's a really, really cool storyline by Jeff Johns, my favorite artist. Uh, author and back here you also have the bombshells you know a DC popular bombshells line as well as the female furies which are people from the fourth world Jack Kirby new god stuff inside of this set so let's take a look here at what I pulled and we'll talk about some of the pieces and we'll talk about a basic overview of how to play hero clicks so you notice some more slightly obscure characters here you know you've got the uh this girl here, she was one of my super rares. Her name is Nightshade. You've got this super rare Harley Quinn. You've got a Lashina, which is from the uh, Furies, the, uh, the female Furies from the New Gods. You have this Joker from the Thriller Killer, the, the weird 1960s Elseworlds. Uh, you have <laughs> the original Red Tornado, which is, uh, I can't remember her name, Ma Kettle or something like that. No, not Ma Kettle, but she's got a bucket on her head, a soup pot on her head and she was kind of more of a mascot. Then you have the bombshells here. Now these look really cool because they're actually standing on these atomic bombs. DC did a thing with these kind of uh, 1950s art style here. So you've got these three here. Uh, Sinestro Corps, uh, Scarecrow as well as a regular Sinestro, a uh, regular Scarecrow. The Prime here, this Harley Quinn is a Prime, so uh, she is also part of the Sinestro Corps, which is pretty cool. So you've got a couple different um, keywords here that key off of your Lantern teams. And there's a Red Lantern Harley Quinn as well. You also have the Enchantress here from the original Suicide Squad Enchantress. Really cool looking sculpt. So really interesting looking things here. Uh, different obscure. Let's take a look at a few of these, at what they do, their powers and all such as that. And I'll give you an overview of how to play this game. But if you like these kind of more obscure, and hey, female driven, right? Yay, uh, all, all that kind of stuff, which is good, you know, right? So it's the first time ever I think that's been kind of the main push for this set. And that's really cool. You get a lot of female uh, figures in here in here click so well done there WizKids. let's take a look at a few of these what they do before i give you an overview of how to play this game all right so let's take a look at some of the figures here these are the five figures i wanted to pull the super rare harley quinn who is in fact a title character uh, this is that kind of new thing you've seen in my thor video where you get these plot points to add or take away and when you spin them they do some really incredible things like for instance uh, you get them when you use Perplex. So she has a Perplex that is a plus two or minus two to anything but damage. That's amazing. The Candy Gram thing gives an energy explosion with a plus three uh, attack. And then each character gets an action token when you spend two of them. When you spend six of them, you get to spawn as many of these dice rolls minus... Um, no, it's actually just a minimum of two of these Harley tokens. Uh, they're not that great other than the fact that they have a three range, five movement flurry, 10 two. So if you spawn three of them out there, you can do some damage. So that's what she does. She has that title, title character abilities uh, for 60 points. So pretty cool to have a 60 point title piece. Uh, next we have the Prime here, which is a Sinestro Core Harley Quinn. I love when they do the Sinestro Core. So she's got the Perplex, but only to modify combat value minus one. When Harley Quinn uses it, choose close or range. Unless it's the only character an opponent force, the target can't make that kind of attack until your next turn. You could effectively shut somebody down with this Harley Quinn Prime. Now she's actually got some potential play with that ability right there. Also has a Sinestro Core keyword. Love that. you got to love it. It's one of my favorite things. She's got hypersonic speed. Really weird. But, um, you know, really cool. Plus, uh, like I said, if, you, if you're playing Golden Age, you can use those lanterns to buff her even more. Over here, you've got Nightshade. She's a Suicide Squad member too, but she's also uh, the other super rare. Look at all the stuff she ignores. Crazy. 
So she's got the, uh, you know, you, you get to get a buff when she dies too. So it's kind of cool. Different things. She's got all kinds of um, placing free, free hindering terrains out there. And you can choose a friendly square and place a hindering terrain. Really cool stuff. You know, probability control. Uh, one, two, three dials. So actually not a bad piece for 50 points. A 50 point prob with the other stuff. Yeah, I think that's actually a pretty good play. Uh, including that smoke cloud. It says smoke cloud poison. When nightshade uses poison, opposing characters in hindering terrain within five squares are also dealt the damage. That's pretty sweet, actually. Lashina here. She's from the female furies. One of the apocalypse. Got two traits and then a whole lot of power there. Really cool. Um, plasticity with giant reach of three opposing characters within three squares in line of fire treat so she shuts down movement for three squares away if you use her and that Harley Quinn together now again they don't necessarily share a word, uh, keyword but if you use them together uh, you could do some serious damage by shutting them down and then stopping the other ones from using that kind of um, movement or that kind of attack so that's her abilities back there and then last but not least just want to show you one of the bombshells they have an interesting bombshell trait uh, if you, you get these bombshell tokens, if you have two action tokens, you can pull two of the bombshell tokens. Then when you do, you get to make a free close attack. I don't know if they're all the exact same, the bottom part, but that's they all have that bombshell trait. So it's kind of neat that they're doing that. And then again, cool sculpts on the bombshells. So that's what's in this set, along with you know a ton of you know generics and uh, other pieces. But let's take a look real quick at the basics of Heroclix. Okay, so this is what the dial of the Heroclix look like. The top number up there, the eight with the pink, ignore the colors for a minute. That's your movement. You can move that many spaces for an action. The fist is your attack power, and the shield is your defense, as well as the damage over there with the starburst. The little lightning bolt is your range. That's basically what you can do. On your turn, you'll have certain powers, like the pink one means sidesteps. You can take two free movement actions, uh, to move two spaces for free. It doesn't count as, a, as an action. So what you do is you look at these powers, you get a little powers and abilities card that tell you exactly what they are, uh, each one of them, because there's a ton of them. And then you build a force, and you kind of build it with support, with attack, all that sort of stuff to buff each other's weaknesses. And then you move your characters around the board. You move your entire team, they move their entire team. When you take an action, a non-free action, you get an action token. You have to clear that or else you'll take a damage unless you have some sort of power that allows you to get rid of that. You say, Brian, this sounds really confusing. Well, it is at first, but thankfully there's so many simple pieces out there that you can really start playing and easily learn this game and really have a good time with it. It doesn't take long, games can go pretty quick, but also you get to play with your favorite pieces out there. So that's Harley Quinn and the Gotham Girls. That's a basic overview of how to play. I know that seemed pretty simple, but you'll play on a map. You'll move that many squares. The map choice is important because there's certain things like hindering terrain, elevated terrain, all that sort of stuff. But uh, you just look at those values and then when you take damage, this is what's cool, that's why they call it hero clicks. Your dial spins to denote that you've taken damage and your powers might change. For instance, they did not here, but there we go. When you take another damage, you roll onto a whole new set of abilities. And that's what makes Hero Clicks really fun, is you never quite know, unless you study your force and their force, what's coming exactly. So these little team abilities on the outside also give certain power buffs. But I really recommend you check out one of the starter sets to this and take a look and see if you'd be interested in this because it's a great game and you should play it. So that's Hero Clicks Gotham, Hero Clicks, Gotham Girls, Harley Quinn. Great set for uh, some obscure pieces as well as some good sculpts. Uh, and I love the Sinestro Core stuff they put in there as well as the Red Lantern Core. So that's it for this time. I'm Brian Drake. We'll see you. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.